Ladies and gentlemen, since all of the news and big revelation came out about Herschel Walker having four kids, social conservatives are cheering him on. Now, what do I mean by that? White evangelical Christians as if we really care about them. We don't. So this is following the revelation that he had uh, fathered three children that never been disclosed publicly. So it was a half full room of conference goers at a Faith and Freedom Coalition annual gathering in Nashville. Went wild for Walker, perhaps the most high-profile Republican Senate candidate this cycle running for one of the most contested races. In an on-stage interview with Walker, Faith and Freedom founder Ralph Reed addressed the recent barrage of new stories saying that Democrats and the media were firing artillery at the candidate. Walker, in turn, said, he loves and has never denied any of his children before accusing unnamed forces of trying to mislead his family members. Wow. No, I think the only one that was doing the misleading is Herschel. So uh, they didn't do anything but make me want to fight harder because I'm tired of people misleading the American people. This is what Herschel is saying. I don't think people were misleading the public. You really got a horrible pass. You know, I, I mean, for you and your son to do that amount of talking about the black community, you really got probably one of the worst track records I've heard in a long time. You know, and I, I don't know what to say, but you talk down on people, but your past looks worse than the average person that lives in the hood. <laughs> it really does. From there, Walker quickly pivoted to the need for America to become energy independent and decry those trying to confuse people with racism over here and the Build Back Better plan over here. The reception Walker received at the conference is an early indication of a self-identified religious conservatives will give him a pass for <laughs> his, um, yeah, so they're giving him a pass for all of his past sins. And trust me, we still didn't hear everything. And I bet you as we hear more, it's far worse than anything we've ever heard so far. The former Heisman winner stands accused of hiding from the public three children that he had with multiple women outside of marriage. And both Walker and his eldest son, Christian Walker, have been critical of absent fathers. The Daily Beast reported that at least one of the mothers of Walker's unacknowledged children had to take legal action to receive child support payments. Paulina McFoy, an Atlanta resident attending the conference, said Jesus Christ will answer uh, the question of how Walker's parenting decisions square with his faith and his repeated criticism of absent fathers. McFoy maintains that she believes Walker is a good candidate because he stands for family and said it was a waste of time to report his personal life. How do you stand for family and you didn't even acknowledge and you're not even in the life of these other three children? The only child that he is present for is Christian. How is that about family? Please explain. No wonder why this country is in bad shape. Look at the way these people think. He who is without sin cast the first stone, she said, then you might want to be quiet 
McFoy. So Walker is challenging uh, Senator Raphael Warnock this November in a swing state in a race that could shift control of the Senate. He has been endorsed by former President Donald Trump and embraced by many socially conservative stance, including the importance of being a good father. <laughs> well, you got to be in your children's lives to be a good father. Herschel has not, he's estranged from these other three kids. That's not a good father. I don't care how much y'all try to spin this. It can't be spun. Okay. <clears throat> this is what they're saying. A message he has targeted specifically to black audiences. Somehow, I don't believe Herschel could attract a, a big black audience. Maybe if there's an event and he's invited, but he himself, he couldn't do it. In an interview, Reed said that he did not believe the recent news coverage would hurt Walker's chances of defeating Warnock. He praised Walker's public commitment to his faith. I've worked on every campaign in Georgia virtually. And since 1976, this is what Reed said, I've never seen a candidate that open about his faith ever on the Republican side. Aren't these people the same? They they profess all this faith and they got more skeletons in their closet than anyone you ever want to meet. When it comes to his family, Walker said he didn't try to hide his children. He just keep repeating the same thing over and over and disclosed their names and ages on a government form in 2018. The Walker campaign shared a photo of a document with Politico after the Daily Beast reporting. The header on the form stated, none of the information below will be shared outside of PCSFN office. Walker is a hero among Georgia football fans. He has been a public figure in the state since retiring from professional ball. His popularity was confirmed when he uh, uh, dominated the GOP election in May. All right, I'm just going down a little. But inconsistencies and controversies not only around his kids, but also surrounding his business record could turn off swing voters in the state that has seen a growing number of Democrats in recent uh, election cycles. Walker has been called out for lying about graduating from the University of Georgia. He left after his junior year. He also said that he was a member of law enforcement in Cobb County and trained with the FBI. The Atlanta Journal-Constitution found no evidence this was true. The Cobb County Police Department, county neighboring Atlanta, also said it had no record of involvement with Walker, the paper reported. Mm -mm -mm. Walker has also asserted that Trump never said that the election was stolen in an interview with Fox 5 Atlanta. I don't know whether President Trump ever said that because he never said that to me, Walker said. Trump has repeatedly said the 2020 election was stolen, including a week ago in his endorsement of Alabama state candidate Katie Britt. Walker avoided debates during the primary and has so far limited interviews with the media outlet that aren't conservative. His appearance at the Faith and Freedom Conference consisted of a conversation with Reed rather than a speech like most other candidates, the office holders who took the stage. So he attended some event and, you know, they're trying to I guess, sweep everything under the rug. And I'm just telling you, it's not going anywhere. And the reason why it's not going anywhere is because he has been dogging out the black community for several years about fatherless 
children and fatherless homes and what should be done about it. And it's just real hypocritical for him to come out now and claim he was not hiding the three children until the Daily Beast broke the story. And now he's coming forward with all of this stuff. Yeah, nice try, Herschel. Nobody's buying it. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this story. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.